Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Yuk, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we are doing another What's For Dinner vlog. So, I am planning on showing you my, one of, well, uh, not my favorite, but one of my favorite dishes um, growing up. So, growing up, I've never been a seafood fan. I'm actually like, really allergic to shellfish, so I never really got into eating fish. Um, so this dish itself is actually one of the easiest ways for my parents to actually get me to eat fish growing up. So what it is, it's a pan fried fish, so pan fried filet, and then you put a cream of corn sauce on top of it. It is delish and it's easy and it's eh, relatively healthy. Get me to eat fish, so hopefully this will get Ginevra to eat fish because my child is icky, picky eater. Um, and then on top of that, I'm going to be making a stir fried uh, beef on top of sauteed vegetables, Asian veg, um, all served on white rice, which is already cooking in my Zogarushi rice cooker. Anyways, let's get cooking. So I am using a filet of sole. All right, so I just basically, I just sectioned them up into like little pieces. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually going just to towel dry the fish. I'm doing this before I marinate it. And then transfer over to the plate before I season it. I actually haven't cooked fish in probably a good year. I don't mind eating fish now. I mean, actually, I've, I made a teriyaki salmon that was absolutely delicious and was so easy to make. I'll have to show you guys that one once in a time. All right, so I just keep repeating the process. All right, so I have dried off the fish. Right. And now I'm going to marinate it. So all I'm using for marinade is some salt, some pepper, powdered ginger, sesame oil. This is like liquid gold. I'm telling you, it's like liquid gold. If you want to do Asian cooking, get some, get some of this baby. It's just pure sesame oil. It's just yum, yum, yum. Onion powder. I love the smell of sesame oil. It's just, it's so fragrant. Oh, and I got handles now. Check this out. Look it, I got handles now. Are they pretty? And knobs. If you didn't see my last cooking vlog, that time, uh, I think it was like last week or so, I did not have handles on my doors or knobs on my doors. And my sink, they work. This one and this one. It's so handy. I'll have to tell, tell you guys about the sink some other time. But it's super handy. All right, so it is now marinating. I'm just gonna mix it. It's really hard to do this with one hand. All right, and let that marinate while I go work on some other stuff. Okie dokie, so now to marinate this, I am going to use some light soy sauce. Some salt, some pepper, I will one day find my pepper grinder. I do actually have a salt and pepper grinder. It's just lost in my rental mess right now. Out of ginger. Do you see a theme to my cooking? Garlic powder. Sugar. The impossible for me to pronounce. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Heather, I know you tried to teach me how to say it. We're just gonna stick with pizza. Tofu. Tofu. Futon. Hey. He's ignoring me. Add in the pizza. I think this also helps to tenderize the meat a bit because of the acidity in it. Sesame oil. 
mix it. I should have used a bigger bowl. You know, I should rename the show instead of what's for dinner. I should call it the awkward cook. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Now, if I had red wine, some red wine open, I'd probably use some red wine in here or some cooking wine. But I don't, so we're improvising. And I do that a lot with my cooking. I actually do a lot of improvisation. Okay, now, to finish, cornstarch. Just to coat it a little bit. Now, I'm not an expert cook. I just love to cook. So I might be doing some stuff wrong or different. So if you have any ideas or comments or ways to improve, comment below. I'm always learning, always looking to learn new methods. New ways of cooking. Oh, that smells good, 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 so, good. Since the last video, I have gotten several, several, several um, suggestions and comments because people felt so bad for me that I cry so much when I'm cutting onions. Yes. So we're gonna try it again today. Now I got some suggestions and um, one of them, the one of the first suggestions I got was to actually rub my knife down with olive oil. So let's try that. I have some Filippo Berrio extra virgin olive oil here. And we're gonna try to see if you could save my eyes. All right. <clears throat> so they, she said just two. Put a little bit on, like to coat it. Ah! Oh, I'm definitely, definitely putting a lot on. All right. Yes. The awkward cook would definitely be a very fitting name for me. Let's try this. While I peel an onion, coat it in olive oil. Put my knife in olive oil. All right, let's see where this takes us. The boy's running around. All right, so, cut up in. Turn the brown stuff first. So far, so good. Not crying yet, haven't cut in yet. Oh my gosh, I need to sharpen my knives. Okay. I wonder if I have to reapply. Not burning yet. Cutting it in half. I feel like there should be an episode called Jesse Against the Onion. So far, so good. Nope. I'm starting to feel it. Sorry. Okay, let's recoat. Let's recoat. Putting more on. olive oil it could be any sort of oil yeah I definitely started to feel it yeah nope there it goes sorry it burns it does burn it's burning oh it's burning ah uh, nope eee. I can't open my left eye all right okay oh oh Nope, I'm sorry. It didn't work for me. Now, it might just be again, it might just be, I can't open my eyes. It might just be me <laughs> that can't handle the, can't handle the onion. So this would definitely be onion one, Jesse zero. <laughs> but this might work for you. Try it and let me know in the comments below if this works for you. All right, I will go wash my eyes. Bye. Okie dokie, now I'm making my batter. So I'm doing a really simple batter. I'm just gonna use some cornstarch. I shouldn't even know how much. Let's do that one more. Cause I want it to be a very light batter. Cornstarch, a bit of salt. Mm. 
つら。little bit more pepper。I feel like this bowl is a bit, but eh, it'll do, it'll do. Now, Jennifer's busy right now, so she's not gonna help me, but this is how you crack an egg. We're supposed to do like a dry, wet, dry thing. I'm actually really bad at it. I always forget, I always forget, but we're gonna try it again today. So, there we go. Take my dry hand, grab the fish. Do that. Dunk it in. Use my wet hand. Like that. And I put it back in ah! Put it back in the dry again. I'm really out of practice. Hey! There you go. One. All right, there you go. One's done. We keep going. So dry. This is why I don't batter very often. Wet. And dry. So I just broke my tripod and um, I'm borrowing Nelson's like heavy duty crazy gorilla pod um, for now, or it might be for a while. <laughs> so anyways, I wanna introduce you the vegetable star of the night. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Gailan, AKA Chinese broccoli. It's actually a really good veg. It's also, um, it's really yummy. It, it has a, it's not as light of a vegetable. It has a bit of a stronger uh, taste to it, but when you get it really fresh, it's like, it almost tastes juicy. It's really, really good. And again, most Asian vegetables, you can just blanch them or you can stir fry them with garlic and they're delicious. So this one, we are going just to do a, a super quick stir fry after I wash and cut off the tops. So I'm separating the leafier parts from the stockier parts because the leafier parts would cook a lot faster than the, than the stockier parts, obviously. So the vegetables all separated and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash the leaves first and then I'm gonna wash the stalks afterwards because the leaves are kinda have to, I feel like I have to get in there a little bit more um, and then I let that dry before I start frying, all right? Okay, so my fish is all breaded and now we're going to take it over to be pan fried. So I put some oil in, I'm just waiting for it to heat up and then off we go. Oh yeah, that's sizzling. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't take very long to cook either. All right, so I am now flipping them over. Mm, look how golden brown these are. Now on the other side, I actually got my onion sweated out and my garlic sweated out, and I added in the marinated cube steaks. And I finished this. So pretty! So I'm gonna get a nice sear on these. So I put it on the paper towel to soak up some of the excess of oil. And look at it, there are my little fish nuggets. Yum. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, I apologize for the background noise. So basically, I just made a really quick sauce with some oyster sauce and all the other things I used in the marinade before, just to have a little bit of extra juice. And we'll pour this in, thicken it up, and then the steak part of this will be ready. The steak, my friends, is done. Can't wait. 
a couple more pieces of fish, and then I just need to do the veg and the sauce, and we're good for dinner. Okay, so now I just basically, the sauce is so easy. Um, it's just cream of corn soup, really, and then I just add in an egg. Like basically I'll probably just use the leftover egg that I had from the batter, um, and salt and pepper to taste. That's it, so I let this come to a quick boil. And then I also changed my mind about the veg. So the veg, I'm still gonna use the gaillard, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually gonna do a quick blanch of it instead of stir frying. That way I can keep it separate and I can have vegetables two ways for this week. Um, yeah, so all I did was I just added some salt and a little bit of sugar into the water. And I'm gonna put the stalks first, let that come to a quick boil, and then add in the leaves after that and fish them out. That's it! Um, So I'm done cooking and I'm excited to eat. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to show me some love and give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.